This program also gets the size of a directory like the uh, program in the last video. But the difference is this gets the size of a directory that has subdirectories. And uh, in order to do that we add the uh, somewhat mind-boggling technique of uh, recursion. Recursion is simply calling yourself. It's a function uh, that calls itself. And in this case a function that returns a value and accepts two values as arguments. So if we look at the code for the uh, button, once again we have a folder browser dialog that we instantiate as an object and then we do a show dialog to allow the user to pick a directory and based on him returning dialog result OK which means he did select a directory we get the uh, directory path which is selected path and put it into the text box which says the selected directory and then we write the file size into a text field called uh, txt directory size and in order to do that we call file size recursive and we initially pass it the uh, path that the user selected and a zero the L after the zero, the suffix, just means that it's a long value. And then I have a dot to string on this so I convert the uh, returned long value into a string in order to put it into the text box. If we look at the file size recursive function, it returns a long. I had a friend that told me you can't write recursive functions that return a value but I do it all the time so he was a pretty sharp guy otherwise <laughs> and then the um, two parameters we have are the directory and a long that's called p underscore nl dir length and this is actually accumulating through the recursions this is getting larger and larger as it gets passed along the the chain of recursions and within the the function we do a directory info di uh, which instantiates an object called di and we pass it the uh, directory name which was passed as a parameter and then we do a directory info array called dir dirs that's the di dot get directories so in the last video we did a git files and in this video we're doing a git directories and then I set a local variable of nl dir length to the parameter nl dir length that got passed in this parameter. And at this point, the only thing we actually do, the only work that is actually done is this statement. And basically it says the local variable nr dir length is plus equaled to get file size sum of directory. Uh, and I pass the directory name to that. And this function is identical to the last video. It just adds up all the links in the current directory. And you, you have to understand that a current directory is being constantly changed based on the incarnation of this uh, recursive function. Incarnation is like a node where it first time it's called, it's like the root node and then it calls itself and it's a second level node and then perhaps that second level node calls itself again and you get a third level node in fact that happens in this program and you can keep going indefinitely until you run out of memory so the main thing to understand about this is there's two parts to it there's the part that actually does something which calls the git file some of directory that lads up all the links and put it puts it in the local nl dir length and this is the uh, action part so to speak and then this part down here is all the uh, recursive part it basically uh, says are the conditions met where we're going to call ourselves again if yes call yourself again if not just return and it's very important to have the if uh, just return part 
or else you'll keep recursing forever. You'll become indefinite recursion and run out of memory and blow up the computer. Although I think they're pretty protected against that these days. So it's basically saying if ders ders dot length is equal to zero, which is saying there are no subdirectories in this directory that got passed to us, then just return length. And then it's if that condition doesn't exist, it means there are subdirectories in this directory that got passed to us. So we do a for each with a directory info of dir and go through each member of dir's dir's. And at this point we recurse. This is the actual recursive line here. We say pass the first directory full name, which is the name and the path, to yourself in effect, a new incarnation of yourself. You call a new file size recursive, which is the same as this name here. And pass the length that we currently have as a local variable to this function. And once we recurse, we assign this value to the local uh, in our length. And once we finish the entire for each, we just return the local nl dir length value. So at this point, return we return the value, and at this point, ret we return the value. But the main difference is we recurse in this part of the if else, and we have finished recursing in this part of the dir else, or we've, at least we've finished recursing on the chain. And if you look at the uh, Git file size sum of directory. It's essentially identical to the previous video we had, where we have a directory that only has files and no subdirectories. It does a directory info di and instantiates it on the directory that's passed to it, which is a number of different directories as it's getting called through the recursions. And then it does a uh, file info array of dir files that's a git file, so it gets all the files into an array and then we do a for each to loop through each of the files put it in the fi variable and then we have an nl dir length sum local variable that is initially set to zero and we do a plus equal of each of the lengths so this will add up the lengths of all the files in this directory and then return the sum of the lengths so if we look at the actual file structure we're looking at, we initially pass the top level directory. And the interesting thing about directories is their uh, hierarchical structure. So they, in effect, are recursively defined. So the recursion works extremely well with them. So we pass the initial pat top level nerd, nerd node. and. Uh, If you look at the uh, code, this is where it's receiving the initial top level node. And there's three subdirectories in that node, so when it hits, it initially adds up all the files that are in that node, in the root node, and puts it in nl dir length. And then we uh, check if the number of directories in this node is zero, which is not, it's three because there's three subdirectories. So we don't do this part of the if, we do the else. And in the else, we start looping through these three directories we have. So we call ourselves with the file size recurse. So the for each loop is going through each of these in turn. But you notice when it calls itself with uh, a file size recursive, it also goes through this same procedure of adding up the files and lengths in T1. But then it checks to see if the length of the uh, number of drawers array is zero. And in this case, in the case of the first one, it's not. So we actually recurse a second time. We do uh, second call to uh, file size recurse on this branch. 
So we'll fall through to here to a, yet another incarnation, three levels down, and we'll add that amount in. Then we'll return the total each time and come back to here, and then we'll, the four each will go to this node. And it'll add in the length of the files in this node. And there's no directory, so it'll fall out and come back. And then we'll go to the third node and add in all the directories. And uh, at that point, we're out of directories, so we just return to the main program and put the uh, summed value into the uh, text box. So the whole secret of how this is working is in this code. But if you're not familiar with recursion, you're probably going to have to look at this a lot before you get it. And I suggest you get the source code off my uh, website and just, uh, you know, meditate on it until you reach code nirvana. So let's see if this actually works. Let's go to our test directory, which is deliberately a simplified test directory and just has a bunch of 8-byte files in it. So we go down to uh, Computer, Sarah, and Test, and click OK. And you see, once again, we have 40 bytes, because I have a 8-byte file in each of the three directory, an 8-byte file in the uh, second level down directory, and an 8-byte file in the root directory. So that becomes five 8-byte files, or 40, so that's correct. And you notice I created a very simplified structure of, of directories to initially test this. Because if I tested it on a real directory with all, you know, maybe six or seven levels deep, and I got a value that didn't match the, the correct value, I'd really be stumped as to what the problem is because I couldn't really look at how the value differs and get any insight into uh, what what it's doing, you know, why it's adding in additional amounts and so on. But having said that, why don't we look at a real directory? Say go to uh, something that has tons and tons of files. I don't know. Maybe movie browser, I don't know. Does that have many? Well, it has a few. Select that and then do OK. And you notice that comes up with a length of 626,777. And the way we can test this is just go down to the uh, Explorer and go to uh, movie browser, select that, and then right click and look at the properties. And you see the properties is 626,777. So indeed we got the right size of accumulating all the uh, subdirectories and different file lengths recursively. Well, I hope you uh, enjoyed this uh, video and learned a lot. If you're not familiar with recursion, and to be honest, even if you are familiar with recursion, you're probably going to have to look at the code a lot and think about it before you really get the insight as to how it works, because it's very elegant, you know, but it's very hidden. It's just a function calling itself. Well, uh, I hope you uh, learned a lot from the lesson, and don't forget to subscribe.